Well, I'm up here at Glade Dam Lake. Um, pretty nice. Anyways, it's pretty hot out here in the sun right now. It's at 75 in my car, but I don't know. Um, so, anyways, I'm hiking from the dam here. Hopefully I can find the trailhead. Uh, all the way down to West Sunbury and I just measured it out on the road. It's about four and a half miles on the road So figuring hopefully nine miles. It look a little more hilly than what this map showing so uh, I do have my new backpack so I loaded it up with more stuff than I need I just want to check it out weight wise and I put the sit pad on the back here um, But uh, yeah, this material Z-Pack's Nero this material is called Cuban fiber extremely lightweight this and this pack empty weighs about 11 ounces not even 11 ounces and I got the hip belt uh, pockets on here um, this stuff is not only completely lightweight but uh, waterproof so, um, so I'm gonna be doing the uh, whole water bottle water bottle thing today so change of change of pace for me but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and hit it Hopefully I can find this trailhead Brimstone Road. You know you're out here in the wilderness. <laughs> there ain't nothing out here. There's a school up there though. I'm trying to watch where I'm walking. Perfect uh, place for snakes to be sunning themselves out here. A garter snake. Yeah, you go over there. This trail is not exciting at all. In fact, it'd be a, a miracle if I don't have any ticks on me. This part here, it's just got back into the woods right now, but the last two miles have been ridiculous. So I made it to Route 308 where the trail crosses 308 near West Sunbury. It was exactly four miles. There's a sign there that said West Sunbury one and a half miles. So, I don't know, I just don't, I don't have 11 miles in me today. So, figured I'll just turn around, turn around at Route 308, I'll do eight miles. Call it a day, I don't wanna get myself into a bad situation trying to do 11. I didn't see this on the way out. I don't know if it's supposed to be a kid's treehouse or hunting tree stand. I would say that's probably not very safe. <laughs> huh. This is what I was not looking forward to on the way back. This this valley right here, this just there's no trees. Or no little shade trees. I'm gonna be out in this in this heat for a while. And this path is pretty overgrown. This is where I'm sure there's gotta be ticks all over the place on this path. I got the stupidest song stuck in my head. <laughs> I think a group is called Mungo Jerry song in the summertime I don't think I think it's called I don't know where I got that from it's stuck in my head and humming it all day now this here is one of the worst overgrown sections here of today but I think this is the last really overgrown section I'll be coming out on the pry road up here in a second the parking lot This is like night and day over here, just across the road. That was nothing but fields.
this wide open path. It's easy to walk on. I just checked my mileage, 6.69, so I have less, less than I thought left. I'm not sure how necessary that bridge is. One of the only water crossings of the day. Maybe just cross about three. Water butterfly. This butterfly is following me. So here's my review of the new backpack. I like it. Lightweight. Took a little getting used to with the water bottles being on the side. But I think I'll get, get used to that. Um, and of course the sip head I put on here. It's a little sweaty. But, uh, it's kind of squeaking. Something's squeaking on there. So I'll figure out what that is. I might raise up these... Uh, these won't stay on my hips. I'll have to mess around with that and see what I can do to make them stay on my hips better. But, uh, I might lower these also and then the next run down. But other than that, I like it. So I went through one liter of water. Um, let's see what my totals are. Okay, 7.96 miles, 2 hours and 48 minutes, 1,600 calories, uh, 21 minutes per mile, 2.8 mile per hour average speed, max 8.7, only 700 and some feet of elevation change. Um, so I'm glad I did turn around where I did. Um, if I had to do 11 miles, I'd be kicking myself right now. From Glade Dam Lake all the way down until just before West Sunbury. There's West Sunbury. So that's where it crosses the road and then comes into West Sunbury there. So that would have added an extra three miles on the things today. So glad I didn't do it.